Impress, Understanding Formatting. In this part two of the Understanding Formatting videos, you'll learn how to add and format tables. What's a table, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you. A table divides a portion of your screen into columns and rows so that you can place content, usually text, in each box of the table. Those boxes are actually referred to as cells. Confused? But don't worry, you'll see what I mean as we plug along. Let's create a new slide with the title and one content holder. Let's give it a title, My Christmas Presents. Now, the little icon on the top left of the media chooser allows us to insert a table. Let's click on it now. In my table, I'm going to display the name of each gift I received and their approximate values in dollars. So I'll put the name of the gifts in the first column, then the value in the second column. Since I received five gifts, I want the table to have two columns and five rows. This is a good point as any to point out that columns go up and down and rows go left and right. Now that's an ugly table design. Let's open the table design category in the task pane and see what other things we can choose. Well, there's a lot of styles available, but none of these actually match the color of the background on the slide. So I guess one is just as good as any. I'll choose this one here the fourth one down. It kind of matches. Now down here are some options that allow you to personalize the table. Notice the first box is checked, header row. This makes the top row darker so that you can give each column a title. If I uncheck it, it'll go away. If I recheck it, it comes back. But if we do that, I'll need to add a row since we have exactly five, one for each of the five gifts I received. To add a row, simply click somewhere in the last cell and hit the tab button. There, now I have six total rows. Now I can go up here and add titles to each of these columns. I'll label column one, gifts I received and I'll label column two the value there. To make them look better, I'll select them and I'll center them. That looks a little bit better. Now since the description of the gifts is longer than the dollar amount, we can change the width of these columns to give us more room. Simply position your mouse on the column divider line here, like so until it turns into a double-ended horizontal arrow. Does that look familiar? It should, it works the same way anytime you see it in Impress. Now if you hold your left mouse button down and drag it to the right, you'll be able to resize it. Looks good? Uh-oh, what happened? Well, the reason this happened is because it is resizing the width, not moving the divider to the right. So let's go ahead and put it back for now. Here's how we can overcome this. If you go to the right and grab this side handle here and drag it in a bit, then you can go over here to the middle column divider and drag it out. There, that looks a lot better. We still need to position this a little bit more to the right. So what I'm gonna do is grab it up here and just move the whole table to the right. Very good, now I'm ready to start adding some content to this table. There, as you can see, I received a Harley Davidson motorcycle, a Chevy Camaro, some jelly beans, a check from my cousin, and then I fainted when I received the motorcycle and the Camaro, so I got a gift from the doctor of a, of a bill for $850. Very good, now I'm going to resize this a little bit and then move it down to the middle, and now we're done. It's your turn to try.